Hey guys, Gretchen's Vegan Bakery here. It is a brutally hot week here this week, so I decided to go with another no-bake dessert. This white chocolate blueberry cheesecake is so easy, you are going to freak out. It is so creamy and it tastes just like New York cheesecake with blueberries just bursting out all over the place. I tested this recipe out on my non-vegan neighbors yesterday and they absolutely loved it. So let's get right to the recipe and you will need for the crust graham crackers, vegan butter and sugar, and the cheesecake batter is vegan white chocolate, vegan cream cheese, and I do prefer the Tofuti brand for all my baking recipes, but for those of you who want to go soy free, you can use Daya brand instead any milk alternative of your choice, blueberries, fresh or frozen, vegan lactic acid, agar powder, and sugar. So first make the crust by combining the graham crackers and sugar in a food processor. Now I'm using Nabisco brand because those are the only ones without honey. Just go ahead and add the melted vegan butter and then process it all until it looks like wet sand. Now here in the video I am making a baby cheesecake with a 5 inch ring mold but in the written blog post I have doubled the recipe for you to make a 1 8 inch cheesecake since that is just a more acceptable size for most recipes. Now I'm lining the cake ring with an acetate cake strip. Now this is just for the ease of unmolding later and it just keeps the sides really nice. So press the crust into the bottom of the ring mold on a parchment lined sheet pan. Now actually I will mention this is the only time I do like springform pans. When making no bake desserts, absolutely perfect. So if you have a springform pan instead of a ring mold, totally fine. So go ahead and get the crust into the refrigerator while you prepare the cheesecake. But first we have to get the blueberry compote going and that is just really simple by adding the first measure of sugar with the blueberries into a small sauce pot over low heat and just let that cook down. It will start to thicken slightly because blueberries have lots of natural pectin. So just let that go until it looks nice and juicy, the sugar has melted. So just reserve that aside while you make the cheesecake batter and it is so easy. You're going to combine the vegan chocolate and actually it wasn't necessary for me to melt it first. That was a total waste of time since it's all going into a pot to cook anyway. And that would be the milk alternative, the sugar, lactic acid, and the vegan cream cheese goes in as well. And then not until the mixture is warmed up are you going to add the agar powder. So then just bring it all to a low boil, stirring constantly, whisking that cream cheese out so it's smooth. And then once it starts to boil, just let it boil for about 30 seconds. Then you're going to pour the entire cheesecake mixture into the ring mold with the crust. The blueberry compote goes in next. Give it a nice swirl, refrigerate the whole thing until it is set, and it really shouldn't take more than three hours. But once it is set, remove that cake strip, and it is ready to serve. If you wanted some extra blueberry compote like I am adding here, you will just go ahead and double that blueberry compote part of the recipe and you'll have a nice, really saucy garnish to go over top. So you guys, this is a really easy dessert that you can make in no time and it will be gone even faster, believe me. So be sure to grab the recipe at Gretchen'sVeganBakery.com. If you liked this video, I would love it if you thumb me up and also comment below for what you'd like to see next. I do want to thank everyone for checking me out here and visiting me on my blog for all the recipes. And as always, a really special thank you to my patrons on Patreon and my pals in PayPal. There are several new folks who jumped on to help me this month and I do appreciate you all so much. I say it every time and it is so true. I couldn't do this without you guys. You are helping to offset the cost of these ingredients and what it costs to actually have my blog on the internet at all. YouTube just ain't what it used to be and the pennies I make on these videos is nowhere near the cost to share them. So thank you, thank you, thank you is just never enough. If you think you can help support me and Gretchen's Bakery continue for as little as a dollar a month, click the link below to find out how. Alright everyone, that's it for me today. Until next time, happy vegan baking. Bye for now.